For more now, we have Priscilla Wolf joining us. Priscilla and video journalist Tamara Pimentel are near James Smith Cree Nation. Priscilla, good to see you. Uh, can you tell us a bit about what the community is saying tonight? Well, Dennis, uh, you know, we have been speaking to people in the community unofficially off camera because they were told not to speak to the media. But what they are telling us is that they've been very stressed and it's been really hard for a lot of them to sleep at night. That's in Weldon and at the James Smith Cree Nation. Few people, like you say, are, are talking right now as they grieve their loved ones. Any confirmation on victims? Well, you know, Leanne did speak to uh, one of the spouses of one of the victims a few days ago to confirm that someone had passed, and, but uh, they have not officially given any information out yet. We think that that will be happening soon, but not today. Priscilla, you were right in the middle of the scene when they announced that uh, the latest dangerous person alert. Can you describe the scene for us? Well, Tamara and myself were driving on the main road at the James Smith Cree Nation just before noon, Saskatchewan time today, and there were about um, three police cars with their lights on that passed us. And within a couple of minutes, the alert came on our phones telling us that there was a sighting of Miles Sanderson on the reserve, which we just happened to be at. And it seems like it happened right where we were. We were near the spot where they supposedly found Damien Sanderson's body. Within a couple of minutes, we were surrounded by several police cars who were setting up a blockade on the main reserve or the main reserves road and um, we did speak to an officer who told us we needed to get off the main road and to safety so we proceeded off the reserve and we did notice a lot of police presence as well as military presence. Priscilla any updates on that search for Miles Sanderson? As of now, no, uh, because we did leave the reserve. There hasn't been anything issued since we left. Uh, I, I think that the, the blockade has gotten bigger and that there has been more presence on the reserve of police and military since we left. Priscilla, any idea when we might uh, hear from leadership there? Well, Dennis, it, um, there was a press uh, release that was sent yesterday telling us that there's going to be a press conference on the James Smith Cree Nation on Thursday morning. So we believe that the leadership will speak to us then. Priscilla, we uh, appreciate the work you and Tamara and Leanne and everybody doing out there. Appreciate it. Uh, stay safe. Thank you, Dennis.